What's up? This is Alex with SideQuest Games bringing you a new guide on the task Data Trail on EOS. This task can be found and completed after Prodromos has been settled and there's no more radiation on the planet. And so what's going to happen is during your adventuring you are going to come across these remnant data core devices that are located in some of the smaller Ket camps and you will scan it. Sam will have some things to say about it noting that you are going to need to scan more. And so once you have scanned your first one you are going to need to find three in total. Total. So two more to go. In this video, I'm going to show you the three most popular locations that people seem to find these. The first one being along a ridge on the southwest part of the Sawtooth Plateau. The second one here is going to be along the right side of the Sawtooth Plateau, right above those uh, remnant ruins down below. It can typically be found on the right side of this area. There's usually a cat here to fight off as well. For me, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it to spawn. The third most popular location, it seems, is going to be right here north of Pedromos next to the forward station. Sometimes you can get it to spawn right there. Some tricks that I have been using with these kinds of quests is I've noticed that fast traveling, saving, reloading, and leaving the planet and coming back seem to cause the spawn locations to change. So my assumption is every time the level reloads, it also reloads the RNG for the artifacts and anything RNG based. I was having an issue traveling all over EOS trying to find these things for this video and what ended up working best for me is I left the planet, came back, went to the three locations and sure enough I found it in the first location that I found the last one which is just awesome when you're trying to make footage for YouTube but luckily there you go. Hopefully these three won't take you too long to find. If you are struggling like I said fast traveling might help you with reloading the area as well as saving and reloading or just straight up leaving EOS and then coming back and then once you have found all three data course you are going to get a waypoint from sam that's going to take you out in the middle of the nowhere in finding this hidden remnant vault basically you're going to want to descend into the vault to kind of explore to see what's going on down here there are some ket down here so be aware of that as well as a glyph chest which is what i will give you the answer key for because i'm so nice like that now you're going to want to scan these glyphs along the walls here and so the first one can be found just on the right side of this pillar as you enter the vault second one will be found right here behind the glyph chest so there's the glyph chest right there this will get you one step closer to the achievement to do 20 of these bad boys in one playthrough and you are just going to progress through the mission it's a really cool area down here it's kind of a lax vault in a sense and so there's not too many rooms to it the second room here is going to be filled with some more cat simply take them out and there will be a glyph on the back wall that you'll be able to scan it's on this like right side pillar here once you have scanned that glyph, you've only got one more to go. Simply progress through the mission, and in the second to last room, you are going to have a remnant data core to scan for some good research there. Move on to this remnant console here, and Sam will let you know that all of your effort was to get information on the animal life on Eos, and that this data is invaluable to the settlement on Pedromos. There is some little extra things here to scan, as you can see right there. So get yourself those extra research points, and we are going to move on to finding the very last glyph. Now, the last glyph is going to be located in the back of that second to last room where we found the remnant device. That will be the kinetic glyph. Head back to the chest, and here is going to be your answer key for the glyph puzzle. Now, once you have picked up your loot, you're going to go back up out of the vault and head to Prodromos to finish off the quest. So there is just going to be this terminal in the like first building as you exit the Tempest. It'll give you a quest marker, so that's always nice to have one of those. And right there is going to be the terminal. You'll get information and boom. Thank you so much for watching. This is Alex with SideQuest Games. Don't forget to leave a like, maybe even a comment. And if you especially want to help me out, please subscribe. I'll be doing a ton more Mass Effect content that you can look forward to this week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.